and I hope that it will serve as a landmark for future efforts in this community to make certain that when they determine something is right, they will not accept no for an answer. That's how Portsmouth Mayor Richard Davis reacted to Secretary of the Army Clifford Alexander's decision to approve the dredging permit for the $600 million Portsmouth oil refinery. Alexander's ruling was no surprise because on October 4th, he announced he would give his approval to the refinery, but now it's official. Although Alexander says the refinery best serves the public interest, he attached three conditions to its approval. First, the Environmental Protection Agency must okay two air quality permits it's now studying. Second, the project must not disturb archeological materials on the Portsmouth waterfront, and finally, the Hampton Roads Energy Company, which will build the project, must get both Coast Guard and Army approval of a plan to contain oil spills. Davis, who says Alexander's decision is the best Christmas present Portsmouth has ever received, told a news conference the decision is good for the country. The good and the bad have been evaluated, and he has determined that it is in the best interest of not only Tidewater and Virginia, but the nation. However, the environmental group Citizens Against Refinery Effects says it will continue to oppose the project in court if possible. Although Alexander's decision was expected, it's still a big one because in essence it means the Portsmouth oil refinery will indeed be built right here on this site once the EPA permits are issued and the expected court battles are dealt with. Problems that proponents say will go away in a matter of time. Uh, the EPA determinations in both cases have tended to have been to approve the permits and uh, since this is a game of numbers or standards in which you must meet, uh, I fully expect the permits to be issued. Uh, the second thing is as to the court suits. Uh, the fact that the process has taken nearly five years, to me it would be almost unthinkable that any sort of subject matter that should have been considered in the review process would have been overlooked. Mike Deason, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Portsmouth.